Hey, what the fuck's going on? So I'm currently making my way home right now, but I thought I'd give you five travel photography tips, you know, just to pass the time. Okay, so I guess the first tip is to travel with someone that you actually like or know, like a family member or a friend, particularly if they're another photographer as well, because that always gives a good chance for you guys to bounce ideas of each other and share your knowledge. Yeah, and it's probably a good idea to pick someone you actually like as a person, because when you travel with someone, you actually learn the most about someone else. So make sure the person isn't a complete fuckhead. Yeah, also don't look at your photos after you've taken them. It's called chimping. When you look at your photos, you start thinking about why they're not good and start comparing them, whether you should be just focusing on taking your photos and enjoying the moment. Pretty much, you just wanna make sure you take your photos and keep moving. You wanna make sure that you're traveling light. So don't carry around a massive fuck off bag with every single bit of equipment in it. it. Just gets heavy and your back gets sore and you just fuck yourself. I guess this tip is kind of subjective to the work that you do. If you need a lot of gear to do your job, well then I guess you're just gonna have to cop it and carry a lot of gear around. However, as a good rule of thumb, try and minimize where you can and just take the important shit. Remember, Google Maps is like your best mate in every scenario when you're traveling. Which train to catch, uh, how do I find my way home, like me right now, food and restaurants, um, adult shops. Google Maps is pretty much like your Bible, right? So you make sure you study that shit. And if your phone's got a shitty battery life, you better bring a portable charger around because you're gonna be using it for like most of the day. Last one, get a good camera strap. I use this one. It's a non-sponsored Peak Designs camera strap. This one's really sturdy and really comfortable as well. There's nothing worse than having a shitty camera strap. Nothing, like that's rock bottom. There's nothing comparable on this planet to having a shitty camera strap. For day-to-day -day photography, I actually don't use a camera strap that much, but since I've had this one, I always bring it when I'm traveling. I bring it everywhere. Just mainly because they have these quick release plates on them. They have other little thingos that attach onto your camera, which pretty much just make these really easy to take on and off. And then plus, it's actually really comfortable. Like, look how fucking thick this thing is. It's like a fucking seatbelt, mate. Okay, that's all for me today. I hope I taught you something new in this video. If you did like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. With that all said and done, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>